Uh, they were independent and progressive, analytical. Look at how these cards, how, how much they're thinking. It's an inward, uh, they think inward. Um, they, you know, Aquarius is original. They are inventive and, you know, they have some very strong dislikes and firm opinions. They're a sign of hopes and dreams and they're concerned with, you know, larger issues of the world. And, but re re simultaneously, they can remain personally detached in their own relationships. And all of this really does sound like the 1960s here, doesn't it? From, you know, I, I certainly wasn't there. Uh, however, from what I hear and and a little bit of the history that I know, I'm certainly not a history buff by any means. But I find it very interesting to understand, you know, what drove a particular time period. And I think it was Aquarius in some way, shape, or form, that energy. And that's, uh, you know, I be what I believe inspired the artwork and design of these cards. So, as I said... Yeah, they're concerned. People of the 60s were concerned with larger issues. They were friendly. It was about humanitarianism, making our world a better place. And it was about, also about freedom of speech. Remember, Aquarius is an air sign, and air signs are about communication. So you can definitely tell that uh, you know free speech was a, a definite value of this time. The dangers associated with this with this nature is that sometimes they're so unconventional and eccentric that they can be sort of targets from narrow-minded people. However, they are definitely a sign of the future and they are, you know, visionary and they're so intellectual and they're just independent. They want to think independently. Look, they are, they're alone. Very, you know, they just work independently here. They they want to think for themselves. This card in particular, um, I sort of see this as they're walking away from something that no longer suits them anymore. And they're in search here for something that is more meaningful. Something that they can feel like they belong to. Something they can be part of. There's certainly an intensity within their minds, and as a contemplative deck, I think uh, the author, the illustrator, really uh, demonstrated that. And uh, just another little point that the symbol of the of Aquarius is a water bearer. And for those of you who might not know what I mean, I have um, this book here that'll show you a picture. Right here. Right here is the water bearer. And a lot of people might think that this would resemble a, a water symbol, but I mean, if you look at these stars here, they definitely resemble sort of the hope and dreaminess of the Aquarius. And uh, the water actually represents knowledge and truth, which we know veracity, honesty, is a value of Aquarius and humanitarianism and thinking outside of the box. They're definitely a seeker of knowledge. They communicate ideas very well. Now, if you're interested, I will link also um, the only astrology book you'll ever need uh, that is debatable however I find the book to be very good it helps me understand this deck more so Aquarius a problem that you probably might notice with the 1960s or you know this sort of ethos or this kind of person is that the ego is so invested in their opinions that when someone disagrees with them, they feel like it's an attack on their personhood. 
because they really are people that really live out their beliefs. So it's very understandable that if they're emotionally invested in somebody that when someone doesn't agree or understand that they can feel like they're being attacked, their ideas. You're not just attacking the thought, but you're attacking the person behind it. They sometimes also have a tendency to refuse to realize when a certain idea that they have isn't working in the real world and can, you know, sabotage itself by insisting on, you know, their way, even though the evidence may suggest otherwise. Now, while I don't really want to go into politics, I think a lot of us can maybe fill in the gaps here, you know, of things that may be people of the spirit of Aquarius in the 1960s may have been doing that maybe hasn't turned out very well in the future uh, for today, but uh, that's debatable and maybe I'm, you know, not understanding it the, the way that they understand themselves. But anyways, or the time frame. So again, they're people-oriented, they're about activism, they're not, uh, you know, they don't stand for something that they don't believe in, they're not, they don't believe in conformity, so they can be more disagreeable at times. Uh, their affections come with no strings. That sounds familiar now, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, they are definitely about politics and social causes, and I think that's pretty true. We see a lot of social causes in the 1960s that people were pushing forward and have later carried on, you know, with the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s, and even today. Uh, they enjoy being unique, and they enjoy unique people. They think that people, you know, can teach them a lot of things and they can, in turn, start to understand themselves. If you look at this deck here, when we start seeing people, they really, they're just so introspective and they're just trying to, you know, understand themselves a little bit more. Now, if we look at the Aquarius, like the inner Aquarius. So if you're a person, or if you want to look just deeper into the age of Aquarius, the most frequently asked question is why? They want to know everything. They are bothered by what they don't know. Does this sound familiar? They always want to know what makes us tick. And you can gain a lot from understanding others. You start to understand yourself. And I think the best kept secret about Aquarius, the age of Aquarius, and the people who are Aquarius, whether it be sun sign, moon sign, rising, Venus, whatever, Pluto, is that they are really shy and insecure. Even the loudest of the protesters can be, be this way. They often wonder, do people care about me like I care about them? And my favorite quote from the chapter on the sun sign in Aquarius from the only astrology book you'll ever need is, yet somehow your feelings of insecurity manage to coexist with the belief that you are truly something special. And that you are.